Now, we'll spend some time talking about past perfect tense. It is used to show a completed action before a something else in the past. We use past perfect tense for an action or situation before and simple past tense for an action or situation later. Let's see this example. When we arrived at the cinema, the film had started. This sentence means the film had already started and we are late for the cinema. So, when we arrived at the cinema, it is simple past tense and the film had started, it is past perfect tense. Let's see these two sentences. It had started raining before we reached at home and it started raining after we had reached at home. The easiest way to remember where to put had is, let's see the meaning of before. Before means earlier. So in this sentence, had is put on the first part of the sentence and after means later. So in this sentence, had is put on the second part of the sentence. It is also used in something that started in the past and continued up to another action or time in the past. Example, when he got the job, he had been in Dhaka for two years. This sentence means he had been staying in Dhaka for two years before he got the job and up to he got the job and even more. It is also used to share experience up to a point in the past. Example, my last exam result was worst I have ever had. It is used to, in conditions with if to talk about unreal or impossible things. Example, if I had studied hard, I would have got a first class. But right now it is impossible because I hadn't studied hard. And in the end, past perfect is used after a wish. Example, I wish I hadn't gone to bed so late. So, if we remember the 12 tenses chart, we can see I or we or you or he or they had gone. So, with all this, we can make a structure which is subject plus had plus past participle of the verb. Mm -hmm.